Hello, hello, my dearest friend, and welcome to Mom, One Mom's Cookery and Bakery. My name is Lena Gerba. I'm very happy to see you here, to see you on my channel. And guess what? Today's New Year's Eve, December 31st, 2021. We're about to go into the new year. And I want to put a couple of salads um, and a couple of dishes on the table. And I'm feeling very decadent. It was an amazing year for me and my family. And I hope the next year is just as good, if not better. And I'm feeling Olivier. Do you know what Olivier is? It's a very classic Soviet style salad. Uh, Olivier is like borscht. There are a lot of variations and varieties. Every housewife cooks it differently. I'm gonna show my version of Olivia, and hopefully you enjoy. And I'm also making some other dishes um, that are quite decadent, and they are stuffed um, eggs. I'm also gonna make a kind salad, a crab salad. And if you like any of those dishes, uh, find them on my channel and watch. And this particular cell, Olivia, in the former Soviet Union, for New Year's, you had to have Olivia. Olivia was created by a um, French cook back in the 1800s, I believe, for the Tsarist family. Um, and it's like any kind of Soviet or Russian salad. It has everything in the kitchen sink. I am cleaning the bologna sausage. You can replace meat. You can use any kind of meat you would like. No meat. I, for instance, don't eat meat. So Olivia is not for me anymore. Although it's one of my favorite um, salads, honestly. New Year's I associate with Olivia. And um, this is bologna. You can use turkey. You can use roasted chicken. Sorry. You can use pretty much any kind of meat that you like. Uh, the key in Olivia is everything has to be cubed. And it is similar to the potato salad in a way. But it's cooked, uh, it's cut much more fine. And um, it has more ingredients. So I'm gonna show them one at a time. It's quite boring to watch somebody chop. So I'll talk to you. I'll tell you the stories. A lot of jokes about Olivier and New Year's. So this is how I would slice Bologna. I like my Olivier and any kind of salad, be it potato salad, the ones that are kind of chopped into pieces, to be, I don't like it bulky, I don't like lazy salads where potatoes are chopped in big chunks. So it's not super fine, but it is quite delicately cut. It's not chunky. And this salad, my family, although my husband is American and my children were born and raised here in the U.S., they all grow up on Olivia. And believe it or not, every new year, I would make Olivia for them and it would go. Um, and like borscht, it stays a little bit longer, it tastes better. There are a few ingredients. I told you it's everything in the kitchen sink in it. And we'll later than one at a time mix salt, pepper, and put some mayonnaise in every Soviet salad. Pretty much has idea, has uh, mayonnaise in it. My mayonnaise is the dressing of choice. For the Soviet salads, and I remember growing up, any salad you make, kind of any salad, would have to have 
Alivia. I would have to have mayonnaise in it. <laughs> so you would also have to cook some carrots and cook some potatoes. And you cook them in the skin, unpeeled. And when it's cooked, you peel it. And this is how I'm gonna slice it. Uh, everything is pretty much uh, everything is cut the same, almost the same size. You know, we, we eat with our eyes first, so it has to be pretty. So, although it's quite a few ingredients, it's not that much work. And it is delicious, honestly. And I have to come up with a vegan version of it. And in year 2022, I'm going to show you what I eat. Because it's vegan. And I still cook whatever my family eats. Nobody is forced to eat what I eat. But I'll show you a lot of wonderful, wonderful vegan recipes. That you might enjoy. You can experiment quite a bit. It's a lot about textures and flavors. It's not that we need, we miss a certain ingredient, but the dish that we miss has the flavor and the texture. And if you're a kitchen scientist, you can recreate it and make it just as good without using animal products. So, um, this is going to be a large bowl. You don't need to make this much salad. You know, two onions, two, I mean, two carrots, two potatoes, or one, whatever you want, as much as you want. sodium for the salt content for the flavors if anything is missing um, I think I became well I've been a cook for many many years I love cooking ever since I was a teenager a child I always helped my mom in the kitchen and then I I wanted to do it myself so I do enjoy cooking I do enjoy serving making people happy that way but when uh, so with experience you become quite intuitive in your seasoning so I don't need to taste oftentimes to know if it's properly seasoned if you know what I mean or if I watch for instance somebody cooking on TV and I can see how much they're seasoning, I can taste almost the flavors in my mind and in my mouth and I know if it's going to work or not. I guess it's intuitive and I know if it's over seasoned or not, if the flavors will go together or not. But anyway, even though I season most, most of the time and don't ask anybody to sample for me, Sometimes I do. So I ask my daughters and my husband to try if it needs more salt, more pepper. Now, a couple of eggs. And it's very simple. I chop them just the same way as I've been chopping the rest of the ingredients. Please, uh, if you're watching this, please write what are your favorite decadent salads. There's so many decadent salads in the world. Every cuisine, every culture has it. Um, 
in America, I think, I think the decadent salad is probably the pasta salad. They have not stand. There are a lot of pasta salads with mayo and stuff. And I just can't, it doesn't, doesn't live in my mind. How can you have pasta salad? But I guess for each their own, everybody has different taste. And such products of our habits and our brain. So um, there are a couple of odd ingredients. So every decadent salad has odd ingredients. This particular salad has pickles in it. So just like American pasta salad has pasta, it needs odd. This one has pickles. You want to buy marinated pickles. Although I have tried Olivia that had sour pickles and had marinated pickles. Like pickles in the brine. And, um, and they were actually good. They give different notes of flavor. So uh, I'm going to put just as many as I put eggs, four, I'm going to get rid of the ends. So the pickles, pickles that are brined, they are not super sour, they're not super sweet, they're balanced. They're not very vinegary. And you would think it's a long process to make this salad, but it really is not. I have to go to the garden and get some parsley. Everything needs a little color. Every savory dish needs color. It's just for me when I look at something and it's not decorated. It's like something is missing. It's like the dish is naked. Now when you start tasting, and that's the that is the journey of making the idea. You will know if you tried it before, you will know if it needs a little more. Usually it's a little more onion, a little more salt, <clears throat> and a little more um, pickle. And also, I'm going to cut up the apple. It's our secret ingredient. And it gives... Um, it gives a wonderful taste and I'm going to cut it just the same way that I cut. So for this salad I'm using quite a bit of scallion. If you don't have scallion you can use regular onion. Nish, you want to come sit with me? No. Okay. It's nice and quiet for me to use. It used to be that my new year was wild. I was looking for some party, things to do. did such a wonderful trip to Sedona where we celebrated New Year's and we went to bed early, kids prepared the table and in the morning we got up like at 4 o'clock, went on the um, air balloon ride 
Oh my goodness. What a what a way to greet the new year. It was amazing. Mishika, could you give me an apple, please, with this time? Just one apple. One apple? One apple, apple, regular apple. Because I'm, well, you can give it. Leave the camera. So, and one more piece, so please. One honey apple. See? It's so hard to do it by yourself. It's much easier when somebody follows you with the camera. Really? Yeah. Wow, well, you're doing a good job. So I'm using nice green apple. I like tart apples. I would not recommend to put a uh, sweet apple in any of you. It is a tart kind of salad. It's a savory salad. And nothing sweet, please. <laughs> My husband doesn't want to help me anymore. I'm helping you. Oh, can you give me a paper napkin? Yes. Okay. okay, the fire is cooking. That's the clock. I'm going to mix some canapes. The other decadent piece that I'm going to also do is a little bit caviar canapes. Because I live close to New York and where I live, there are ethnic stores, Russian, Ukrainian, Polish. So um, I like to buy our products, certain products I love to buy. It's just, I guess, what you're used to. Now, in the big spoon. Rainbow sky. I'm sure it's pretty much done. 
Any chicken is more pickles. which I will do, I will bring a nice bowl and serve it properly and also get some green. So it is delicious. Trust me, it is delicious. It's for every health, honestly. Sometimes my husband asks me to make it for a family gathering and people love it and it goes. And if you like a potato salad, this one is bad. Um, so let me serve it so it looks very presentable in the bowl and appetizing. Hey guys, you know to hear something funny. I cleaned everything up. I created a beautiful bowl to demonstrate to you a final product. And then I turned around, I went to the garden, I got my parsley, and I see a jar of um, green peas. So I'm in here. I told you everything in the kitchen sink. It needs green peas. I'm gonna open it up. Get a knife. So now everything has to go back into the mixing bowl because. And you can buy any green peas. These are from again from the Russian supermarket. There's plenty of this stuff in any supermarket, I'm sure, in any country you live in. Drain the juice. They're cooked, they're done. You just need to incorporate them because then you have a traditional salad. So you can skip apples if you don't want to, but I highly recommend. You can add a little bit of the sour pickle just to create another tongue. I tried it and it's pretty delectable. And you can use any kind of meat you want. It doesn't have to be a traditional bologna. Um, ethnic store, Russian stores, they have a gazillion of different kinds of bolognas and it's pretty good. I love bologna growing up and later, so it's, but there is really nothing good in it. As you might, as you might suspect, but it does taste good. A lot of things that are not so good for us taste really good. So I'm gonna make I'm not gonna have Scott try it again. I think this is what his brain was telling him that something is missing. Honestly, because it does need green, uh, it does need peace. And it's an interesting taste that this salad has. It's some sort of a symbiosis of stuff and your mind recognizes it. And it's very, I don't say it's like hamburgers. You know, people who grew up on it, they crave it. I, I guess it's just any, any dish. So it is pretty, it is multicolored, and it is a classic. It is a New Year's classic. I hope you would try it. 
and uh, I, I really hope you would share if you liked it or not, if your loved ones liked it or your guests. And I would really appreciate if you support me by subscribing to the channel. It would mean a lot. Thank you so much. And I hope this 2022 is a magnificent year for you and your family and your loved ones. It's full of abundance in every area of your life. Happy New Year's.